A landing page, also known as a lead capture page or a squeeze page, is a single web page with a single focus CTA, meaning call to action. The idea of a landing page is to capture your visitors' contact information to build up your email list, and in return you provide value to your audience through email marketing activities. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back, I hope you're all well. Now today I'm excited to share with you how you can create a landing page for free using HubSpot's free landing page builder. Now, the main reasons we believe that HubSpot provides the best free landing page builder is because of the seamless integration with its CRM and email marketing tools that allow you to further engage with your audience. Okay, now before I walk you through the process of creating your landing page with HubSpot, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and create your first landing page with HubSpot. <music> Okay, so first what we need to do is log into our free HubSpot CRM. Now, if you haven't already signed up to HubSpot, you can go ahead and create a free account. To do that, simply click the link below this video in our description, and that's gonna take you to this page here. Now, it's important to note that that link is an affiliate link, which means if you decide to upgrade to any of HubSpot's paid plans, we will get a small commission, and these commissions help us continue to create educational content for this channel. So go ahead, click that link, or you can head over to hubspot.com and navigate over to their CRM. Then head over to Get Started, it's free. Now that's gonna take you through the process to initially sign up to HubSpot's free CRM. We've already gone through that process, so what we're gonna do is meet you on your dashboard. So go ahead, sign up with your free HubSpot account and we'll meet you inside HubSpot. Okay, so here we are inside our HubSpot account. Now, if you're completely new to HubSpot, I recommend you watch our HubSpot tutorial for beginners. That will guide you through everything you need to know to really make the most of HubSpot's free, powerful CRM. So what I'll do is link that video up above and down below in our description. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our first landing page with HubSpot. Simply navigate up to marketing, and then come down and select landing pages. Now with HubSpot's free CRM, you can create up to 20 landing pages for free. So what we're gonna do is navigate over to get started. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, the main reasons that we recommend HubSpot to build your free landing page is because of the seamless integration with the free CRM that HubSpot provides. Now, within the CRM, you can continue managing your customers, your clients, and you can also engage in email marketing activities to provide value to your audience. And by creating a landing page within HubSpot, what you're doing is building up your email list and then that email list, your contacts that you're capturing from your landing page are then being integrated into your CRM for further dynamic marketing activities. And with HubSpot's free CRM, you can capture up to 1 million contacts and you can connect with unlimited users on the CRM platform. So essentially, you can manage all your marketing activities in one convenient place, the HubSpot CRM. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our landing page. Now we have the option to select a pre-made template. This is the best option, especially if it's your first time creating a landing page, because you can select a professionally developed landing page, and then you can customize it based on your requirements with HubSpot's easy to use visual drag and drop editor, which we're gonna dive into shortly. So what you can do is navigate down the page 
and select a pre-made template that you like the look of. You can also navigate over the pre-made template and click preview to simply preview that template on a large screen as well as on a mobile device. And it's important to note that all HubSpot's landing page templates are mobile optimized, so they're responsive across all devices. So what we're gonna do is navigate back. We don't wanna use this particular template. And then for the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and select this template and go ahead and give your landing page a name. For the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is create a simple landing page to capture our visitors' contact information. So we're gonna call this a lead capture page. Then come down and click create page. And this is where we can go ahead and customize this landing page template the way that we like with the drag and drop editor that HubSpot provides. So as you can see, all these elements we can customize. And then over on the left hand side, we have block modules that we can simply drag and drop onto our landing page. So for example, if I wanted to select this image and drop that image below this content here, and then down here, you can see that I've added the image module. And you can do that with any module, just simply drag and drop those modules from the left-hand side. So if we navigate back to home, down here are all the modules that we can use. And again, like I mentioned, all you need to do is simply drag and drop. Now, what I'm going to do is keep this landing page relatively simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete this image and then navigate back up to the top. So the first thing I wanna do is actually change this logo. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is navigate over to the pencil icon and click edit module. Then navigate over to the logo and select replace. And then go ahead and add your logo. I'm gonna come down and upload a file. So I'm going to select our logo here and click open. And then select the logo that I just uploaded and you can see I've replaced that logo. Now down here, what we can do is simply select the content and then just highlight the content that you want to change. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the text just like that and then I'm gonna come down here and change this text as well. And I'm happy with that. Then I'm gonna come down and change this text too. Okay, now if we navigate up to the top of the page and under content, you can see some formatting options that we can use to format our text. So if you like, you can play around with the formatting options available. We're gonna leave the template as it is because we're just gonna simply change the default content on this template. Then next to this text module, we have the form module. This is where we can add our form. So simply navigate up to the pencil icon, edit module, then simply navigate over to the content on the left hand side and under form title, this is where you wanna change your title name. I'm just gonna add subscribe now and then come down to choose a form, select here. And if you've already created a form type, what you can do is select that form type and that's going to add that form that you've already created into this section over here. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a new form from scratch. Go ahead and change your form name if you like. This is for future reference. We're gonna leave the name as it is and click create. Then navigate down to form fields on the left hand side. And as you can see, we already have an email form. What we wanna do is come down and click add another form. Select choose a property. And what we wanna do is add a first name field. So when a visitor lands on this landing page, they're gonna add their first name and email. So go ahead and locate first name. Down here, we've located the first name, select first name. And as you can see, we now have email and first name. What we can do is rearrange these if we like by simply dragging and dropping. So now we have first name above and email second. Now, depending on what information that you want to capture from your visitors, you can go ahead and simply add another form field. For example, it could be a phone number, it could be a company name, it could be any of the other details that HubSpot provides. And all this information is going to be added into your HubSpot CRM. However, what we're gonna do is keep our form extremely simple because this is just subscribing people to our business newsletter. So all we need is the first name and their email. Now you can also navigate up to the pencil icon and click edit. 
and you can come down and change the field label. So at the moment it's first name, I'm happy with first name, you can go ahead and change that if you like. You can also make the field required or make this field hidden. What we're going to do is make this field required. So basically when a visitor lands on our landing page they are required to put in their first name and email if they want to join our weekly newsletter. Then once you've made your changes to each form field simply navigate back to form. Then simply scroll down past form fields. We have button text you can change the button text here if you like we're going to leave submit as it is then come down to capture spam prevention we want to turn this on this will essentially reduce the amount of spam and keep your forms more secure now if we scroll down to thank you we have what will your visitors see after submitting your form so once they've clicked submit what do you want to happen redirect to another page or display inline thank you message for us we're just going to select display an inline thank you message and then come down and again you have formatting options here you can also add an image and essentially what you can do here is customize your thank you message so once they've submitted the form this is the message they will see however if you had a website what you can do is redirect them to your website Again, for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is display an inline thank you message. And then come down and turn this on. Always create new contact for email address. So every time a visitor submits their information, email and first name, that's going to create a new contact in our CRM. Then what we can do is come down the page and edit these other modules. So we have a text module here and another text module here. What we can do is either delete the modules, we can duplicate the module, so clone the module, or we can just customize the text. For now, what I'm gonna do is leave this as it is. But down here, what I wanna do is delete this button and then navigate down the page. And what I wanna do is actually get rid of this section. So let's say, for example, I don't want this part of my landing page. I can select delete section. And as you can see, that will remove that entire section. Down here we have our footer. Again, what we can do is edit this by simply clicking on the module. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to our company name. And then if I navigate over to the right hand side, you can see a social media module. What I can do is simply edit this module and then navigate over to the social media networks. At the moment we have four, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. What you can do is go ahead and edit each of these social media channels and then come down and add your channel URL. So what I would do is add our Facebook business page URL. That will take people to our Facebook business page if they click this Facebook icon. So go ahead and change the appropriate information for your social media networks. What we're gonna do is head back. You can also duplicate or you can delete each of these. For example, if I didn't have a Twitter, what I could do is simply click delete. And I can also go ahead and add an additional social network if I like. Then we have basic formatting options down here. But what we're gonna do is leave the format the same as the template and then navigate over to apply changes. Then navigate back up to home. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and finished designing our new landing page from a template. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is quickly go through some of the settings for our landing page. Now over here, you can also preview what your template will look like, your landing page will look like on desktop or mobile. So I like the look of this. Remember each of the landing pages that have been designed by HubSpot, the templates, these have already been optimized for mobile. And as you can see, this is optimized. So if I navigate back to desktop and then head back to add. So again, down here we have your module blocks that you can simply drag onto your landing page to customize your landing page the way that you want. Add the information that you wanna to add to your landing page. Then once you've done that, what we wanna do is navigate over to design. This is the overall colors of your landing page, the typography and the forms and buttons. So if you wanna customize the overall style, just simply come down and customize the colors and the styles of each of these elements. Again, like I mentioned, we're gonna leave the template as it is because it's been professionally designed. However, based on your brand colors, if you had different branding colors, for example, your logo, 
was a orange then what I would do is come down here and change the form field to an orange background then once you have added all your content navigate up to save to save all your changes and then come across to settings next to content and then under settings come down and add a page title then below page title we have page URL basically what you can do is connect a custom domain if you have a professional domain if you don't then what you can do is just use this branded domain URL and then we have your content slug which is the same as your page title I'm going to leave that as it is and this is your entire URL that you can use in your marketing campaigns this is the URL that will take visitors to your landing page so what we can do is go ahead and copy your link so I've just copied the link to the landing page we just created then what we want to do is navigate up to optimize and under optimize HubSpot will provide suggestions based on further optimizations you can make for your landing page however this is not essential most of the information will be covered if you select on each of these for example mobile friendliness you can see that we have already completed all the recommendations and we only have three suggestions for the meta description and this is for SEO anyway which we're not going to talk too much about in this tutorial so I'm happy with the optimizations then navigate over to schedule and this is where we can schedule for later or we can publish now this is a landing page so we want to publish now now before you go ahead and publish your landing page before it's live online what we want to do is click preview and this will allow you to preview your landing page on desktop tablet and on mobile then once you've previewed your landing page and you're happy with your landing page go back and then navigate over to publish to publish your landing page and click publish now and congratulations just like that your landing page has been published you can go ahead and edit your landing page if you like by simply clicking edit and then down here you can see some basic page metrics page views total form submissions new contacts new customers bounce rate time per page view exits per page view and entrances so what's going to be important for you is page views total form submissions and new contacts then if we navigate back up to the top we can go ahead and click on the landing page to view it in our browser okay so what I'm going to do is test out my new landing page and form by entering in my first name and email and then I'm going to hit submit and here you can see my submission was successful so what I'm going to do is head back to my HubSpot CRM dashboard and then if I navigate over to contacts and come down to contacts and down here you can see that the information I added into our landing page has been added under contacts so every time a visitor adds their contact information into the landing page the form their information is going to be added into contacts and following this you can engage in email marketing activities and you can engage in email marketing from your HubSpot CRM by simply navigating over to marketing and then coming down to email so what I will do is link a HubSpot email marketing tutorial up above and in the description below this video that will show you how to get started with email marketing through HubSpot's free CRM so go ahead and check that out you now know how to create a landing page within HubSpot to build up your email list now the next step is to engage in email marketing you can also connect to MailChimp MailChimp is a powerful all-in-one email automation and marketing tool and again we have tutorials to help you get started with MailChimp if you're interested to learn more about MailChimp however that is everything we wanted to cover in today's HubSpot tutorial showing you how to create a landing page for free and there we have it guys that is it for this landing page and HubSpot tutorial for beginners now if you have any questions about this video make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like below this video subscribe to the channel and that way I'll see you next time take care guys